Last week, OpenAI bought Johnny Ives Design Company for $6.5 billion. And if you don't know who he is, he's the guy responsible for designing all of Apple's products that have been majorly successful. Now, not all of his designs have been successful, but he's the design man behind the iPhone, the Mac, and so many other things with Apple. He and some other people started a company named IO that OpenAI has acquired. And the reason they've acquired it is because they plan on giving ChatGPT its own device. And there are rumors circulating around that it's gonna be some type of pendant. And they want it to be this type of ambient presence where it's not something that you have to hold in your hand, that it's screenless, but that it's always watching Watching, always listening and so there are a lot of speculations about how it's going to look what it's going to cost and so forth and I'm not sure if it's going to catch on because there have been other things especially pins like humane they had the pin right now you have limitless AI I think they have about a hundred thousand devices in the market and then you had the rabbit all of those were AI devices but they failed now me personally I think that a two-part system might work better like if you had something like a watch with an earbud, then the AI could speak to you and you can have the watch as an interface, but I know they wanna go screenless. Ideally, you want the tech to be invisible. And so a lot of people think that them creating this pendant device, whatever form factor it takes, is going to fail because we already have a phone with a microphone and a camera. Meta has the glasses, and I do think that glasses are the best form factor right now because with the glasses you have, cameras, microphones, and you can even have a screen for visuals. So it's like everything in one. But with all of that being said, I personally think that what they should actually launch is their own smartphone. And the reason why I think they should launch their own smartphones is because people spend hours upon hours consuming content online right now and trying to get someone to get away from their phone to use an AI pendant or other device is going to be very difficult. If they launch a phone, then they can also launch an AI app store. And the app store is how Apple has been able to lock down the iPhone and maintain maintain their dominance in many regards through the app store over other billion dollar empires. And so if ChatGPT had its own phone, then users could in effect next year have Apple intelligence because Apple is nowhere near launching Apple intelligence on their own iPhones, it seems. So I think that them foregoing launching their own smartphone is them missing a huge opportunity to close a gap that Apple has failed to close, especially since Sam has said word for word that they want to build their own family of AI devices. And I think that if you want to build a family of AI devices, go ahead and build something that people are already purchasing smartphones. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you got value out of the video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and as always, take care, have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video.